Hi, Spartan. Welcome in. Why are you saying, oh, dude, you got here like immediately. What the heck? I've only been live for, wait, 40 seconds. You're quick. Hello. Quick. Guys, space came on in one minute. I'm not even kidding. Hi, Kim. Can we get some yos? Hello. Wait, Kim's in a stream? What is going on? Ads should be over by now. You're off on Fridays? W! W. Also, the rose batch looks really nice next to your green name, Kim. It matches. Or, I guess it contrasts, but... Also, I mailed Max painting today. Because the little postcards that I ordered finally came in the mail.
That's good. Yeah, I had to wait because today, guys, three, two, one. No, no, <laughs> no. What happened? This is why, chat. If you're gonna stream, don't do anything sus. Like, don't pick your nose during your starting soon screen because you never know like what'll happen. Okay, I'm fixing it. No, this. Look, I'm. I've become such a good ventriloquist that look, my mouth isn't even moving. Isn't that crazy? Okay, let me fix it. I'm fixing it. Sorry. No way! <laughs> the no way is, I think, my favorite new emote. Oh, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so I mailed Max Painting. This is the old version. So hopefully they'll get it by, like, maybe Thursday next week? Because I ordered little... Wait, I can show chat. Also, hi, Spartan. Hi, Kim. Yo. Feels weird wearing headphones on stream still. Today's the last day of it. Yeah, because I ordered little inserts for people who buy art now. Kim, you should have gotten like a handwritten one, but I ordered... Oh, it's flipped. It's flipped. Just like... Here, I'll fix it. Uh, flip it. See? And then on the back... It's like a little info card. That way, whenever somebody orders, I can... I spelled Max's name wrong on this one. These cards are 50 cents each, so mine is 50. So, like, I can write... Like, I can handwrite their name for every order now. Because I, I did blanks. Yeah. So, those finally came in the mail yesterday. Um, who's that? I know. Who, Megalo? <laughs> also... If we see Mac in chat today, I need to yell at them. They put their address in wrong. <laughs> they put, because you're supposed to put like the unit number, street name, and then state on this on the third line. They put state and city on the second line like a dumbass. It'll still get mailed, but it fucked up my shipping label. Cause like I printed it, I bought it, I paid the 16 bucks for the stupid label. And then I read it. I was like, shit, the address is, like, weird. <laughs> but it's fine. I, I talked to the post office lady this morning, and she's like, it's fine. It happens all the time. I'm like, okay, good. <laughs> no swearing? I don't have to swear in my stream. This is the Peace in broadcast, not the Spartan B909 broadcast. AMA fit check. Um, I don't want to do that. I don't want to stand up. You guys already saw my ass when I stood up. You got it for free. It's, this is a... Okay, fine. No ass, though. This is a men's shirt. I got it, like... Six years ago? Men's shirt. It's cool. It's got a hood. You know, it's very boy-y. Boy. I like the bottom. I know it's cool. It doesn't show on cam, though. Thank you for redeeming, Spartan. We'll do that at the end of stream. Thank you. Okay. So, big drama. I told chat and Twitter yesterday, my grandma does have leukemia. <laughs> Wait, L for leukemia. Sorry, I can't get over it. So, my sister and I are figuring out when we should go. And we're for sure gonna go in September. So, guys... I said this yesterday, but I'm going to bring this up every single stream because it's only like two weeks away. August 2nd is my three-year stream anniversary. So as we did year one, year two, we're doing a subathon. So Oilers, hold. You can still subscribe, but hold until August 2nd. Same as last year, 12 hour recap. So I'm going to make another post next week. But I want everybody, all the little chatters, August 2nd is a Friday this year. W, landed on a good day. Um... Think about what you want to see for this year's subathon. I think the main premise will be playing all the games that I played when I first started streaming. I was going to do that throughout the month of August, but I think we could play each game for like two hours. That's my birthday. Ain't no way. 
you know what? If you say it's your birthday on that day, Spartan, I'll tell you happy birthday in that stream. I promise you that. That's all. No presents for me. I'm sorry. So yeah, that'll be August 2nd. Yeah, that's it. My sister and I are still like figuring out when we want to go. Because my sister already had a trip planned for September. So, oh, she's trying to like figure out because she can't take off too many days from work, right? Because, you know, she's the breadwinner. So, we're trying to figure it out. Anyway, that's the drama. Should we just like get into it? Should we just like start the stream? Is your sister job okay with it? I mean, my sister has like a really good job. She like rizzed her way in, like with her riz, you know? Sorry. I'm just... <laughs> okay, okay. So this it, okay. In sign language, my it, the camera's flipped, but like I don't know which hand it is, but like this is A. So my <laughs> I'm turning face cam up. So a, a joke that my sister and I will do for context, she has ASD. She's on the spectrum. So she's allowed to make jokes like this. Also, I scored 105 on my RADS test. I'm going to ask my doctor if I could get an eval this year. But anyway, so <laughs> whenever, <laughs> whenever, like, I or my sister does something that is, like, cliche, like, A-coded, <laughs> we'll look at each other and, like, put up the fist for, like, A. <laughs> It's so bad. Anyway, anyway, it's so bad. Like, I'll be <laughs> I think the funniest one, because, like, I always wear headphones when I go out, because, like, noises scare me. So, there was one time I forgot my headphones before we left the house, or the duplex, and my I was like, I forgot my headphones, I need to get them. And she looked at me and was like, and I was like, shut up. <laughs> it's like one of the is one of the better but like worst bits we have. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Her work. Like her work is fine. She's like a really good job. She kind of rizzed them with her riz. Like a riz. So and she's entitled to two weeks vacation every year. And then every subsequent year she's with the company. She gets an extra two days, I think. Like, there's some boomers who are, like, 60 who have, like, a month vacation. Or eligible for a month of PTO every year. So, she's got a really good job. Let's hope she doesn't throw. <laughs> okay, anyway, anyway. Let's start today's stream. I know the music is a bit softer, but that's just how they mix the audio. Also, VOD watchers, I'm sorry there's no music for you. Just pretend you're listening to the Florence game soundtrack. Guys, just a reminder. Um, Pisa needs to save for a plane ticket. Oh, that's what we were looking up last night. So, a plane ticket from Seattle to Hawaii. One way is two to $500. So, chat, subscribe with Prime. It's free. My sister said she'd pay for it all, but, you know, I want to, I want to help. But it, it's kind of good that we're going in, what you say? Did you get auto mod? Oh. <laughs> okay, Kim, you said a bad word. Um, also, Spartan, that is still a bad word. I <laughs> don't want to see that in my chat. I was shocked. I mean, $200 ain't bad for a one-way. Back when, like, it obviously depends on what airline you go on and what time of the day. Like, flights are usually cheaper when you fly at nighttime. And flights are usually more expensive if you're going for, like, a one-shot. Because, like, ain't no way... Oh, wait. If you're going to Hawaii, you can't, like, land somewhere else. <laughs> wait, sorry. <laughs> Wait, let me, like, pull this up. Guys, what is this? Oh, my God. The website. As we talk about this, let's put the website on screen. Guys, click the link. Go bookmark the website. Also, if you have a Shopify account, you can click the follow button, and you'll get email notifications whenever there's a new product drop. Like, immediately. You will know immediately when I update the website. Anyway. Let's, uh, what should we put on screen? Here, let that. Yeah. So, 
flights are usually cheaper at nighttime. It's cheaper if you're getting like a flight that has um a layover, but you can't do like a layover flight to Hawaii. It's like one shot. You know, there's no other land between the ocean. So uh my sister will be able to pay for it, but you know, guys, buy the art and then maybe we won't kill my sister's bank account. But yeah, we were looking at prices last night. Um, usually flights are cheaper between September and October because that's when people are going back to school. Nobody's going on vacation no more. And it's also like less hot in Hawaii during that time. So anyway, that, that's, a, that's a little update for you guys. We're working on figuring out how we can afford tickets. Also, personal update. Today is the last day I'll be on blood thinners. W. So no more heat stroke. I have an appointment next month just to like see because my blood clot is gone. It's been gone for like three weeks, but I had to stay on the medicine for an extra two. Okay. Boys, the plan is simple. <laughs> no, I mean, that's not the intro. That's not the intro. <laughs> okay, I need to stop the music. I need to stop the music when I'm doing my little intro. Credit card points also help. I don't know. Oh, well, when we were picking out credit cards, because, um, oh my god, Emmy Beef? Hi, Emmy. Can we get some yos? Hello. You know what, Emmy? I should start streaming in the nighttime. That way I raid into you, and then you put me in your thank you tweet. Facing famous YouTubers, so you're facing yourself? Wait, say that again in, like, two minutes, okay, Tooth? That way we can put that in the video. <laughs> Just literally copy and paste a message and type it when I'm doing my intro. But hi, Tooth. Hi, Emmy. Hi, guys. Okay, now we can do our little intro. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the premise for today is I'm going to be facing all of the creator bots in chess.com. How am I going to do the intro? Also... It is day three of chess week. Three of four. Tomorrow's stream is gonna go crazy. I promise you. It is gonna be like one of the silliest and most insane peas and bits you will see on a stream. I want you guys to think back to the Valentine's Day date of this year. It's giving that type of vibe. Why are you saying fuck off? Well, why are you saying what? Did I say something bad? Okay, intro time. <laughs> Intro time. Also, I pause the music because I literally can't think and speak and listen to music. Okay. I really need to write a script. I really. I was talking to my cat. You know, Spartan is a funny chatter because you never know what they're going to talk about. I love that. It is going to become a problem. You're going to like say fuck off to somebody. And, like, really make them mad. Okay. The past few days, I've been learning and practicing how to play chess on chess.com. I think one of the first few things in which I even heard about chess.com was learning that they made little AI bots of famous YouTubers, streamers, and chess players. So today, I'm going to be facing every single YouTuber bot. F oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that one. <laughs> Not a one take Andy. So today, I'm going to be facing off against every single famous YouTuber that I know. And I'm going to defeat them all. That is the plan for today. Okay, also, uh, Tooth, go ahead and paste the message now. <laughs> paid chatter, paid chatter. Wait, I need to check something. I enabled a clip command. Oh my god, if okay, you can't see it in the VOD. Okay, I, I'm we're responding to the message now. Playing against famous YouTubers, so you're facing yourself. Thank you. Um, how many subscribers do I have right now? Guys, click subscribe right now. If you want wait. <laughs> wait. We have to tell people to watch live. Tooth, you're so right. Oh my god, thank you. Guys, so if you're new here, make sure you click subscribe. Also, you can watch me play games live on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash peacein underscore 17. So let's go ahead and jump into it. 
before she's even more famous. Um, editor, put a sub count of what I'm at now. I think my channel is at two. I think I just hit two fifty five on YouTube, and then put it what it's at now. Or if you are feeling lazy, just don't do anything. Just cut this part out. They'll never know. Oh, wait. Okay, so I made a clip command. Let's see. Wait, did it work? Chatters were asking for it yesterday, and I I think I did it right. Let's see. The only restriction for the clip command is that you can only make one every minute. You, like, you can't go fucking crazy. Oh, okay, interesting. So whenever you do the clip command, it says that you, the user, made it, not the bot. Okay, but still, I would prefer if viewers, like, actually made clips manually. But if you are watching on mobile, you can do exclamation clip. We clipping, boys? Okay, but don't spam it. I don't want to see, like, bullshit clips of me, like, picking my nose. Okay, guys, don't clip stupid shit. You're gonna ruin the recommended feed on my channel. Famous YouTubers are playing against Trisha Paytas? Imagine. I'm testing it out. I literally just ve verbally verified that it works. I'm kind of D-O-M. Uh, remove that B from the message. You're D-O-M. There's a difference. Also, hi, Ethan. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Okay. Are you guys ready for chess? Tap one. I lost my cursor. I lost- wait, I can't find my- The same issue is happening! Wait, where the fuck is my cursor? Dude, I hate using Chrome. Wait, I literally can't find my cursor! Wait, I can't- It's gone! <laughs> Sorry, I can't- This happened yesterday! What is going on? Wait, maybe I should turn off my mouse. Embrace Opera GX. That's literally what YouTubers can sponsor to use. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm not even kidding. This is not a joke. Spartan ate my cursor. Too many clip requests. Please try again in one minute. See, you guys fucking broke the bot. Oh, you like chess? Name five queens. Um, Myself, your mother, Spartan's mother, Kim's mother, Tooth's mother. Okay, I'm sorry. I legit can't find my fucking cursor. It's like gone from my screen. You know what? I'll say it. I think I'm doing. Um, I'm opening my cursor settings. It's weird because like I don't see my pointer, but oh shit! But I can see like things being highlighted. Mouse pointer size. Oh. I figured it out. Okay, so whenever it glitches, I have to open my cursor settings and just change the size. Okay, I fixed it. I fixed it. I tried unhooking my mouse. It didn't work. Okay, crisis averted. Now for real. I'm sorry, editor. That was like three minutes more of work. You'll get paid for that. Okay. Now, facing famous YouTubers in chess. Okay, so if you go to chess.com and you go to play, play computer... There's all these different pre-made bots that they've made. At the top, they have Mark Rober. I don't know why. <laughs> and then if you scroll down a bit, they'll have creators. So a bunch of YouTubers, streamers, and then other like chess players too. And then also top players. So today, I know there's a lot of creators and YouTubers on this list that they've made. But I'm only going to be facing the ones that I personally watch or know. I don't want to play a creator that I don't know. You know, I don't want to be sm talking smack and have clips out there. I don't want no drama later. Is Leonardo... I can't speak. <laughs> Does Leonardo DiCaprio do YouTube? Didn't Dwayne do YouTube for a while? Okay. So just looking at the list that is here, I know R Mark Rober... XQC, Mr. Beast, Pokemon, Ludwig, Cutie. I know a box box, but I don't watch him. This looks like Linus Tech Tips. Tech Tone. 
I used to watch Tectone. Gotham Chess, the Botez Sisters. Yeah, I think that's all I know. Oh, Hafu. I don't watch Hafu, though. Wait, Sea Dog! I've been liking a lot of Sea Dog's content a lot. I got auto modded, literally. You said something so bad, it didn't get auto modded, it got auto deleted. Is the blue guy Sonic's Fox? Yes. Yeah, so only demerit is I got the free trial for chess.com. A lot of these bots are premium, so you have to pay the monthly subscription. This is not sponsored. So I got the free trial so I could play all the bots and then cancel my subscription tomorrow. <laughs> so that's the plan. You know, we're we're saving, we're scamming. I'm not an LLC yet for the channel. I gotta save every penny. Okay, so I'm gonna make a list of everybody that we're facing today. That way we can see my win rate at the end. <clears throat> scamming chess, SMH? No, I, I'm broke. I have to save, like, $500 for an emergency trip. Um, guys, click subscribe right now. Okay, XQC, Pokemon, Ludwig. Ludwig is still my favorite streamer, I'll say it. Okay, so there's nine. Let's do wonder. Let's mark Rover. Ro I keep on saying Rover, but it's Rover because <laughs> like he does a lot of like technical stuff. Rover, like like a machine. Okay, so the list of YouTubers that I'll be facing today: ten, XQC, Mr. Beast, Pokemon, Ludwig, Cutie, Gotham Chess, the Bota Sisters, Andrea and Alexandra. Sea Dog and Mark Rober. For every single match, we'll do a prediction. Now, who should we say for last? Now, I'm only, I've only been playing chess for two days. So, I think I should do, like, the chess people last. Since Mark Rober's at the top, let's just do Mark Rober. Little Goody Two Shoes music. It's my favorite. Even though none of you fuckers watch those streams, I'm still mad about that. You know what else I'm mad about? Not getting followers, because guys, we are 30 minutes in the stream. I've stalled for 30 minutes. <laughs> so, if you're new here, click follow. You get to type in chat and you get free emotes. If you're already following, make sure notifications are turned on. That way you don't miss a single stream. Now, let's play this stupid game. Well, peace and win. Go gamb. Wait, sorry. I. <laughs> Oh, wait, did I? Oh, I didn't. Nobody participated in last prediction. Okay, I got confused. Do, 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 do. Do you think I will win against Mark Robert? Put your gambas in chat. Not following is a bit of an L. That's what I'm saying. Guys, if I get a million followers right now, I'll, like, go crazy. Okay. I am locking in. I didn't do any practice matches before stream, so this is like full raw chess gameplay. Always go, move your pawn. Oh, I, I was like, why is he taking so long? He's a robot. Always try to control the center. So I could go attack at d5, or capture at d5. Nothing would be able to take me back, so I'll just attack. Okay, I know I said nothing would attack me. I said that because I did not think Robert would try to, like, move the queen just to take out a pawn. That is kind of insane. That is, that is crazy. 
He has a 1200 rank. Is this 1200 rank behavior? I have no clue what I'm doing. The queen will not take the pawn at d3 because the pawn could kill. That would be like very silly. If they'll save, they'll probably do whatever. <laughs> um, wait, I'm kinda good now. I would rather lose a, a knight than the bishop. So I'm just... Keep moving my pawns. Okay, the queen would not take my bishop because the queen would just take it back. That would be very silly. Okay, no backseat gaming. I know what I'm doing. Is there a chess category on Twitch? Homie, I'm in the chess category. I take back what I said earlier. Maybe you need to keep the B in dumb. I'm sorry. That was mean. I'm, I'm sorry. No, you're, you're D-U-M, not dumb. There's a difference. I'm sorry. That was mean of me to say. Clippers don't. <laughs> I need to lock in. I've lost so many pieces already. Oh, you know what? I, I made the mistake of not opening... Spaces for my bishop. Stop bullying, chat. You know what? I'll say this, Emmy. My chatters are way fucking funnier than yours. I'll say it. I bully them just so they entertain me and entertain themselves. Type one if you agree. Dude, I'm so scared. <laughs> Go play. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding, Emmy. <laughs> None of you guys like watch Emmy streams though because they're too late. You're talking to- it's not a timed game! I can yap as much as I want. Okay, I need to lock in. I'm locking in. <sighs> okay, pause. I did that on purpose. I knew the black pawn would take. But look at this. Bishop. B5. I put the king into check. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I can, like, lay up for a fork against the king. Okay, l look at this. Bishop, b5. Queen takes out the pawn. Right now, the only places the king can move is d8 and d7. Okay, 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 let me cook, let me cook. But I, I don't know what is the best order. Because if I take out, no, because if I move the bishop first, then it makes it a bit more obvious what I'm doing, right? But I think if I take out, oh, no, 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 no. If I take out this pawn first, then the queen will take the bishop and then I'm forced into check. I think it's smarter to move the bishop, bishop first. B, B5. Also, we got a follower. Thank you. Thank you for the follow. Can we get some yo's? Okay, so bishop. B5 check. Okay, that's fine. They're protecting with the knight. That's totally fine. Nothing can attack my bishop where it's at for now. Honey, Spartan, I swear you're doing this for attention. Do you realize this is the second day you followed and unfollowed? You know, I should just put the chat into one hour chat mode. 
Then what will you do? <laughs> oh my god. I should stop making fun of people who don't know how Twitch works. <laughs> that was kind of funny though. They did the same joke last- or yesterday! They did the same shit yesterday! You know, the rule of comedy is thirds. You better do it tomorrow. Okay. Now, what should I do? I'm asking... Not chat, but like, just for myself. I only play chess when I drink. <laughs> Out of all the games. You know, my friends, when they get drunk, they just hop on CSGO and say bad words. No, I'm kidding. None of my friends play CSGO. That's a boy game. I'm in a chess group after work. <sighs> Kim, we're the same age. You can't be doing boomer shit like that. Also, I'm playing chess. Stop distracting me. Okay, I need to stop. I, I'm literally not going to look at chat. I, I need to make a move. L chat. That's why I'm making this L chat. No sé qué puedo hacer, pero... I need to protect my king somehow. Okay, I, I don't think Rober's going to move their queen. So I think I will bring the knight. N, E2. Advance my pawn up one. And then the queen is trapped. Jerk. Okay, well, I lost the bishop now. Dude. Hi, alien. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. I think I'm cooked. I don't want to lose the bishop, but, like, I'm going to have to. Advancing the pawn. I'm going to lose the bishop, by the way. That was unexpected. Wait, I'm scared. My plan can still work. My plan can still kind of work. Knight, c3, threaten the queen. The queen has to move. I'm still going to stay with my trapping the king, queen, and bishop. I mean, it's, it's not going to work as well now. Because the king has so many empty spaces around it now. I'm staying with my original plan. That's fine. Oh, I'm in check. <laughs> Omega dense. Oh, 
I'll just move the king. I'm getting really bad at like not thinking ahead now. I want the pawn at d4 to advance. But it's not going to happen. The only good thing about this board right now is Rober's queen is trapped. I don't think he's planning on moving it. So I think my better bet is just to keep moving the pawns that are on my right side. For the maybe make space for my rook to get out. Queen is moving now. I feel like the queen is going to attack the bishop. Which is a no. I can't necessarily move it. Because it would be hit here and here. By the pawn and bishop respectfully. So that bishop is trapped. I'm going to lose it. I thought I was going to lose it like two turns ago, but now I for sure am going to lose it. But in the off chance that I don't lose the bishop, let's take out this pawn. Wait, what even happened? <laughs> okay, well... I wasn't looking at the whole board. And that was my first game of the day. You know what? I'll take the L. Mark Rober, you're better than me at chess. With your 1200 rank? You didn't lose the bishop, though. True, but I lost the game. I don't... That's a... That's like a nice thing to say, but like, not really. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, I, I lost. I'm sorry, believers. I got auto-modded again. You said something so bad it got auto-deleted. You didn't get auto-modded. Also, hi, Triad. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Okay, next. Oh, wait, they say text. I don't like thieves. Consider this a warm up. The real battle is yet to come. Save game. Why would I want to save my game? Oh, sniped. Yeah, I don't want. People to put snipe in my chat room. You know, I already have a red dot on my head. Okay, next. Let's do Pokemon. Pokemon rank a thousand. Guys, go Gamba. Do you think I will win? I've only been playing chess for two days. Okay, classic opener. She's doing the strat, copying me. She knows. Wait, I'm scared. Protect with the bishop. B, D, 2. 
Whoa, she's crazy! I thought the bish she would follow her bishop back. That's crazy! Whoa, okay. She's trying to trade. Queen could take it out, that's fine. I'm just trying to see if there's any other weaknesses. Right now, her other bishop is still trapped. All her pieces are still trapped besides the horseman. Whoa, that is insane. She could be trying to bait me into moving my king, knowing that I wouldn't be able to castle later. Best bet, take it out with the queen. Man, that was, that's insane. That's definitely a, like an intimidation tactic. And I'll say it did not work on me. Should I try like a castle technique? I should, right? No, I don't want to. Take the horseman out. The queen can't move very far. Only distance the queen can travel is going to A3. I'm going to keep taking more horsemen out. N, F3. G4, so the bishop can travel. I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> she's playing like how I do. It, I can't figure out what she's trying to do. I'm kind of fine losing this pawn. I just want to clear up space for the bishop. I'm trying to set up a mate here. Same strat as last game with Rover. Bishop, b5. This could work if I try to bait this pawn to take this. Because I'm trying to clear out this file, the d file. Threaten the queen. That works. Check. Just to intimidate. <laughs> that <was> stupid! <laughs> Taking the pawn. I'm gonna clear the path. Watch this. Bishop b5. That way we have the diagonal and the king. D file is free to attack. The only thing I need to figure out now is how to trap the king from not moving to E7. Oh, that's four moves though. And then the pawn could attack on either side here. No good path, really. Also, if I move knight to e5 and capture, the queen can attack. I kind of lost some of my best soldiers here. I think I want to keep my bishop back because I don't want her to see what I'm trying to do. I need to get my rook out of here.
I could go that pathway. It would still be three turns, but I'll, I'll go for it. Queen is threatening pawn at e4, or attacking. I always say threaten instead of attacks. When I think attack, I mean, like, they're actually going to hit. That's why I keep saying threatening. They could be placing the queen there. Okay, I don't know how else that knight can move. I did the wrong L shapes. Moving the pawn. Why not? The knight isn't threatening anything, but it's protecting the king. Taking out the pawn just because I want blood. She took the pawn. Now I'm in check. That was probably not a good thing to do. Who do I want to sack? Either way, I can sack the queen. Sack the bishop. But if the queen does take... I would lose it. Or, like, if black's queen takes, then I can just take it back easily. But knowing how Bulky made Blade for like the third turn, where she just lost the bishop because they advanced too much, I'm not sure. Probably better to lose the bishop if he if she actually does attack it. Oh. <laughs> uh. Uh. Oh no. Wait, no, this is probably a mate if I don't move properly. Yeah, the only thing I can do is bishop, and then she would kill, and then I have nothing else to protect myself. Wait, have I... Can I castle? Wait! I can castle? Oh wait, if I can't castle because I'm in check. I'm thinking two turns ahead when I'm not going to live two more turns. Uh, yeah, I it just clicked. Yeah, the only thing I can do is this. Whoa, why? Oh wait, because if she would have taken the bishop, I could have taken the queen. That was it. I thought I was Jovert. Okay, I can still save this. But how? Surely she won't take the queen. What? She's crazy! Queen for queen. Wait, that's insane. I didn't think she would do it unless she ran away. Okay, I guess obviously she has the advantage right now. She has a lot more pieces. This is going to be an unsalvageable run. Should I castle? I think I gotta move my bishop and then castle some out. But there's no... Okay, I should not move it. There's no good diagonal. Because the bishop can take. 
here. Nothing good. Pawn could take. Yeah, there's no good diagonal for the, the bishop. Yeah, I want to get my rook out of the corner. That's legit the only reason why I'm considering castling, it, castling next turn. You know, maybe I should do it this turn. That way I can free up to see what next moves they'll make. Because either way, her, her remaining bishop is still trapped. You know, I feel, like, really dumb. <laughs> this is why I don't like doing things I'm bad at. But you know what? It takes time, dedication, and practice to be a pro at anything. It's not looking great right now? I know. <laughs> it's okay, though. It's okay. I will survive. You know, I've only been playing chess for three days, so, like, it's valid if I lose every game today. Which I won't! My fingers are not crossed. I will not lose on purpose. I'm, like, genuinely trying. Contrary to, like, what the haters say. There's no good place to put the rook. Hmm. I think my best bet... Move the pawns. Knight fell back. Interesting. B5, pawn. There, she's freeing up space for the bishop now. That's why she moved the knight too. That's fine. L. <laughs> it's honestly admirable to try these bots so soon. They're not easy at all when you're just getting started. Well, that's very nice of you to say. I am ranked 400, so we'll see how it goes. You know what that means? That means it'll be a miracle if I beat one of them. Because I think the lowest bot is like 700 rank. So yeah. But thank you, Triad. Okay, well... Um, I genuinely... am clueless. I kind of want to advance the rook forward and then maybe push the king to the right. And you know what else I need to push? Subscriptions. Because guys, we're an hour into stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid the ad by subscribing for $5.99, just $6. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account and subscribe for free with, pr with Prime. Hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you got a free sub available. Get some water, get a snack. I'll see some of you guys in a few. And for every single subscription I get today, I'll tell you thank you. I'm not even kidding. Okay, now back to it.
I'm gonna do something crazy, advancing the rook. Oh wait, I can put it here, that way it can attack either. I'm crazy. At this point, I think the smarter move, instead of moving the bishop down to protect the king against the rook advancing forward, to put it... No. No. No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'll advance or fall back to F1. That way the rook does not advance forward. Rook takes pawn. Horse would take rook. <sighs> I wish I could have taken the horse. I think Pokemane's pretty good, or maybe I'm really bad. I move rook right or left and the horse can get it. There's no good spot. The rook has to stay there. I just don't want blood. Taking the knight because I want blood. Taking the pawn. Bishop has to stay there so I can protect the king from the rook. Really sucks that I lost so many of my pieces early on. I think for now I just need to keep check I might be cooked moving my king because I don't want to move the bishop I'm pissed off. <laughs> oh my god, it's so bad. How? How? 
I didn't have enough good pieces on the board. I tried. I tried. Well, that's another loss on the board. Uh, who keeps putting a thousand points on? Oh, wait, we had three people, Gamba. Okay. <laughs> okay, I promise I'm going to be one of these today. That's two out of ten. Aw, GG, let's play another one. That's so sweet. Don't worry, I'll get a dub for chat. I think she would next. Let's do Sea Dog. He's one of my favorites right now. Sea Dog voice actor. His rank is 900. I think he's one of the lower ones. Guys, go Gamba. Do you think I will win? Watch this classic opener. Didn't Sea Dog win like the Bog Champs one year? Sea Dog made the L move. He moved one of his outer edge pawns first. Take the L. Turn the V sideways and make it an L. I got this. No. Force him into check right here. King can move here. He would have to move the bishop or the queen. Wait, this is literally what Pokemon did last game. It's a bait. Before I advance the bishop, I need to lay up other pieces. Yeah. And F3. And G5. Okay. Taking my other knight out, and c3. I want to work on taking out this bishop. I don't know the best way to do it, though. Yeah, the queen can't move very far right now. I kind of want to keep as many pieces as close as I can to the opponent's king. I'm pushing a lot this match. N, X, A7. I always forget how... Like, the opponent's knight move, I just forget about them, because I'm like, oh, they're not going to capture the shape. is always so weird. Well, that plan is foiled. Do you feel like you're better at chess than day one? Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm, like, thinking a lot more. 
about my moves. Like, they're going in with a bit more intent. I still really, really struggle with thinking about what the other opponent is thinking. But I do feel like that'll come with more time and experience. That's good. Improvement is the most important part. Exactly. Wait, you're so nice, Juliet. You're so sweet. Okay. I feel bad for not being nice. No, it's okay. You know, there's a cycle for every viewer. They follow. They're nice for like the first month or two. Then they're really like snarky and mean for the next two months. And then once they hit like the six month mark, like past like the honeymoon phase, they get nice again. And then they get mean again, and then nice again, and then mean again. <laughs> I kind of want to put in the check just to see what he would do. Wait, no, if I do that, the knight would take me. It's a good thing I didn't do it. Is this a bot? Yeah, it's Connor Dog voice actor. Pawn C3. That way, if this pawn attacks, I can just kill him. I love seeing people get into the silly game that I love so much. You know, I'm sorry to say this. I might not play chess ever again, or I might play it every day, depending on how today goes. So that means, like, if you guys are really, really mean, I'm never playing again. My knight at g5 is stuck. I think I just have to keep inventing my pawns. Monka. That's a bait. Queen takes bishop. Knight would take queen. And that would be dumb. Pawn of three. See, you feel back, you little bitch. Because they knew, imagine a bishop being taken out by a pawn. Imagine. Yeah, I did the high school chess club. And by that, I mean, I just watched my friends play. Like, I never, like, actually... Played. But he ate you? Huh? Huh? I don't think I have the parts for that. Anyway, advancing. Ate you down. <laughs> I was going to say it, but I'm not going to say it.
That was a move to stall. All my pawns are on the battlefield now. Go forth, my loyal soldiers. I should be safe here. I have to follow this knight back. You want to do a little trade? You want to do it? He didn't. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Either way, I'm gonna lose either my bishop or my rook. Ooh. You know, I'll leave the bishop and the rook alone. Rook is worth five and bishop is three. I don't care about points. I just want to win, my guy. That is what matters most to me in life right now. Winning. Let's see what he does. Interesting! He fell back. He didn't want to lose the knight. Okay. That was what I wanted him to do, surely. Yeah, knight has to... Wait, am I in check? Oh, yeah, I am in check. <laughs> Awkward. Controversial. Okay, I'm in check. I think it's fine if I leave my bishop and rook where they are. Because if the queen moves, I'll be kind of protected. Because the queen cannot move here, because rook. Cannot move to g3, because rook. Cannot move here. By the way, you should not have all your pawns in the battlefield. They're supposed to protect the king. You know, I want my loyal soldiers to die. I'll say it. Why do you think people get drafted? I'm not in check. It is all that matters right now. I just I just wanted to keep dodging.
The queen would not take the bishop because then it would be a queen trade. Check. I don't know. I can't come back from this. I, I know I can. I'm trying to figure out which of these five scores is the best. I think here. Now this is just getting annoying. You're cooked? No, I'm not! Wait, what did I lose there? I wish you would show your most recent lost piece because it happens so quick i don't know i'm crazy i'm crazy i wanted to see if you would take it <laughs> No, the, the knight would take the rook if I move it to a3. I don't have any strategy. There's, there's like nothing I can do that's good. I'm just stalling. Can I take? No, the, the knight would kill. No hints. This is not peace in an ETH maker face YouTubers. This is peace in faces YouTubers. I feel bad for all the chess enjoyers watching right now, both live and later. When this is edited. Dude, I'm probably gonna have to edit this and watch it back and be like, Oh my god, you're so stupid! I bet you guys are like screaming at your screens right now. There's like nowhere safe I can go!
<laughs> yeah, the only move I can do is move my stupid king. Nothing I could have done. Well, that's another loss. Don't worry, I'll get a win! I'll get one! You'll get there? You're too nice. Yeah, it was like the only possible move. It was a loss! I'll get you one day, sea dog. Don't patronize me. Mara Mara, you'll have to train more before challenging me. I know, dude. I know. I'm like a newbie. I made my account like a month ago and only played two days ago. Okay, let's see who's next. You know what? Let's try X. What is his rank? 1200? A uh, classic opener. I want blood. I'm not thinking too much. I'm just playing. I'm pretending this is a, a timed match. Check. Sack the pawn. He'll fall back. Oh, he's advancing. Okay. Move the knight. Uh, wait, I'm, this is what happens when I don't think. <laughs> um, uh-oh. <laughs> uh-oh. Wait, if I do that, it's mate next turn. I have to move the king. Oh, I thought they were going to take the queen. Okay. No. No, 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 no. Oh. Yeah, I die. People don't usually trade queens. Somebody did earlier. It wasn't a bot I played yesterday, but granted, it was a beginner bot, so. You know who else might be a beginner to the Peace and Channel? Those who aren't following. If you're lurking and you like what you see, click follow, and I'll tell you thank you. You also get cool emotes, and you get to type a chat. Because we are another 30 minutes in the stream. And if you're already following, make sure notifications are turned on. That way you don't miss a single stream. You know what, guys? Can, like... Can they do a pog champs where it's, like... People who are really bad. <laughs> and they just put me in. I can be their diversity pick. You know, I'm mixed race. So, like, I can check a lot of boxes. And also, I could check the disabled box, too. There's not a lot of disabled big streamers. Okay, I don't know what to do. I, I think I should move the king back. Jackass. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I can only- I'm so dumb. No, what am I doing? That was a misclick. I'm taking my gnat out. So I'm clicking them just to see what possible moves I have. Yeah, I think I can only do that. <laughs> Stop, you're such a jerk. Stop. Oh my god, you're such a petty little bitch. Stop. Don't punish me for being bad at the game. I wish I could do this. Thank you for doing something different. It is X after all, classic. Do it, take my queen, bitch. Do it. Okay, I'm so dumb. <laughs> uh... Yeah, that's the only move I can do. I'm like kind of like really cooking myself. I'm just advancing. I literally have no clue how I can save this. Let's see if he does it. Dumbass bitch! Take this L. At least the queen threat is gone now. Let's get that bishop. I lied. <laughs> I'm scared. Matches with viewers win. Um, we might do that for sub only streams. Because I personally hate whenever people join a stream just to play. You should watch a stream because you like the content, not because you're lonely. And if you're feeling lonely, uh, subscribe. That's why I only typically do playing with viewers during sub only. Because then I know people won't be annoying. Like, I I personally, what I get out of streaming is the engagement in the sense of, like, interacting with the viewers and then also expression. So me, like, trying to be funny and shit. So playing with viewers has less chat engagement because people are playing the game. They're not, like, typing in chat. And also, it's very hard to commentate when I'm playing with viewers because when you're playing with viewers, you're giving more audible and gaming attention to those who are participating, and I feel really bad for people who can't play. That's why I'd rather reserve it for sub only. Plus, I think... Can you make a lobby for chess.com, or do you have to, like, add people? 
I don't know. I disabled everything, so. Because I, I didn't want Notos popping up on stream. What if you're playing chess with a beaver in the screen watch on stream? Yeah. I, I think that's the reason why I haven't played Uno on stream yet, too. I haven't figured out a way to, like, counteract people, like... Because, like, obviously there's a stream delay, but, like, if I vocalize what I'm thinking and somebody is playing against me, they want, they know what I'm thinking because they're watching the stream. <laughs> so, I don't want to, like, ruin it for me. I do think playing with viewers is really fun. But, girl, it's the same screen for chess. No, 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 I mean, like, because I vocalize what I think. Oh, vocalize, yeah. See, the stream delay is there. It's, like, five seconds. And if you're watching on mobile, it's like a two-minute delay. Because Twitch app sucks. Okay, I need to lock in. I cannot lose to X. <laughs> Let's see what it does here. Fall back? Interesting. Check. <laughs> I got too focused on intimidating that I wasn't thinking about what he would do. If I take, then I'm in check. No, I wouldn't be in check, but... I'll just take... Check. I want blood. He's not going to advance the bishop because then the rook would take. So my best bet is to move something else. He's crazy. <laughs> uh. Bishop blocks. Wait, but then I'm forking the bishop. Okay, bishop moves. They either fall back, don't attack. No, that'd be stupid. That'd be stupid. It's best to move the king here. Oh. That's why I wanted to move the bishop. Uh, should I just take? I want blood. I feel like I've lost this one already. Dude, just like seriously stop. Like, let me live my life. Okay. 
You don't want to be on the color that the bishop's on. But now I'm also blocking the bishop. Run away. Thank you. Wait. Wait. Rook takes pawn at c7. Bishop here or here. No. Bishop here, cross, My king is fine because it's on the green square. Either way, rook has to make two moves. Bishop can attack it. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, if bishop takes this pawn, then the king would only be able to move. Oh wait, but then the bishop could just take. He knows what I'm thinking, he's in my head. Because if I move bishop here to intimidate a little bit, the bishop would just get me back. But what if I move it here? Advance, but not all the way. No, but then he would attack. That'd be stupid. Maybe advance here. Rook, f7. They're not in check, but the bishop could take, and then I take their bishop. And then I would only have a rook and two pawns left. <laughs> you know what? I'll try it. Oh, but then the king would just take the bishop again. That would be silly. I can't really do anything here, can I? <laughs> I'm so bad at, at like looking at the other players' pieces. Okay, now I'm on white, so Bishop is going to check me. Oh, okay. Back on green. I'm stun locked. Back on green. No, it's over. <laughs> uh... I'm 
I'm waiting for him to advance that pawn. I'm fighting for my life right now. Since the game didn't auto end, it implies there's still a way for me to win. Genuinely, how? Well, either way, if I stay here, this pawn can advance. And it seems like they're protecting it with their life. Well, good. No, there's another pawn! Oh no, they're closing it? Oh no. It's over. I don't. I genuinely do not see a way that I can win. I think it's not ending just to see like if I somehow kill all the other pieces. I don't know. There's no way! Wait, I see a way to take out the knight. Oh, shit. Yeah, I was going to say, why isn't he pushing the pawns more? <laughs> well, there we have it. I think me not thinking out my moves more thoroughly in the start did hurt me a lot. That's another loss? How does X have 1200 rank? 
I call BS. Oh, wait, we didn't do a prediction. I'm sorry. I forgot. Okay, let's see. Who should we do next? GG, dude. No shame losing to the gaming warlord. Again? Again? <laughs> You know what? Let's do Ludwig. My goat, my favorite, 1200 rank. Wait, so he's as good as eggs? That's crazy. Okay, go Gamba. Do you guys think I'll win? Smile. Uh, classic opener. He's copying. He's literally copying. Classic Ludwig move. The old yoink and twist. It's always off-putting to me whenever people move with their queens so early. You know what? I'll try to. What's the worst that could happen? I want blood. I'm so dead! Check back in a year. I'll be a lot better. Threaten the queen. Thank you. Take the bishop out. Threaten the queen again. gonna fall back advance the bishop Night for night. There's no other better place it could have gone. I'm trying to block the diagonal the queen has. Oop. I'm fixing it. I swear, my camera crashes more when I don't have the game card in.
advancing my knight. Let's see if the bishop will take the knight. Okay. I forgot the rook was on the inner side. Man, I just can't do anything right, can I? Oh, I've already moved a space already. <laughs> he saw I was trying to go for the queen. He saw right through me. I'm in check. Only thing I can do. I just realized I only have rooks left. Oh. Okay, I have no protection. You know who also doesn't have protection? The non-subs. Because guys, we're two hours in a stream, still yet to get a win. But don't worry, it'll happen. So if you want to avoid the ad, all you gotta do is subscribe for... $5.99, just $6, skip your coffee, and get ad-free viewing all month long. Or, you can link your Amazon Prime to Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you got a free sub available. Do it right now. I promise, I'll get a win, I promise. Dude. Give me a kill. Should I? Should I? Wait, why can't I kill? Why, why, okay. Why can't I take this? There's no other threat. Oh, the queen. Lamau.
Batman. Okay, that's another loss. You know, I thought because there's an L in Ludwig, he would lose. Man, I, I can't do this! <laughs> Um, I did look at the random online matches, but they're all timed. Okay. Well, <laughs> as of right now, we're halfway through. Let's do cutie. What's she at? 900, same as Sea Dog. Okay. Don't worry, I'll win, I'll win, I'll win. Okay, I need to lock in. Oh, wait, I didn't see what Ludwig said at the end. Oopsie. Working on opening up paths for my bishops. I should have moved it two. Why did I only move it one? No good place for the bishop. I just want to get it out. This is not a trap. Fall back. Thank you. I'm really bad about moving my pawns too much. But to me, I, I expect them to die. And I need to stop thinking that way. I literally just moved another. I need to start moving the knights more. Oh. Awkward. They're not going to take the knight because my queen is right there. That would be very silly of them to do. Um, okay. I feel like that was not worth the trade. Wait. Wait. Maybe I can win this one. They lost the queen. She lost the queen very early on. That was not a fair trade at all. But I lost the rook, which is an L. And a knight, which is an L. That could work. Oh wait, what did I do? Oh, I forgot about the pawn. I kind of want to keep the queen in this file.
Then I can stay there. Should I castle? A piece in first. Castling. I'm still trying to trap the king with the bishop and the knight. Oh wait, the bishop's here. Gotta take that first. No, the pawn would just take back. No. I keep it there. Advance into the pawn. She castled. That's fine. She's attacking very aggressively like she's going straight for my king she's done that like three times so she's lost all the pieces that tried to do that I'm trying to bait this horse to move somehow. I made the rook move, which is kind of what I wanted to. I've noticed I don't play with my queen very often. Not the fake cutie Cinderella. They <laughs> are so funny. They're, they made like, um, they made bots that play like them. You know, one day I'll get on chess.com, surely. Hi, Kobobo. Welcome in. Can we get some yos? Should I take the rook? That would be kind of crazy, right? Because I'm not going to lose any other pieces this turn. The rook is trapped. You know, it's kind of sad that, like, they made cuties, but, like, bad. <laughs> like, I'm doing decent against it, which means it's bad. Oh, uh, that's why they advanced the rook forward? 
That way the rook would take the bishop. I don't want to do that. I could put the king in the check. Because there's nothing that could kill me. So she'd have to either move here, 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 or here. So she would lose a turn, basically. I'm doing it. Check. I want to keep the king on green. But I don't want to fall back too far. You know, I'll keep it close. Or you're just better than the bot. Imagine. I do really hope I beat one today. I should, I hope I can. Oh, okay, my bishop is being attacked by both the rook. No real safe spot to move it. But I think I'll move it here. That way I can have a, the center diagonal. I'm clearing... It saw what I was doing. It saw. Uh... Wait! I can maybe get a mate here. I capture. And with that move, the king is placed into check. I would have this whole file. The king would not be able to move here. They could move here. They could move here. But I would have two, I would have a, a vertical and a diagonal. They'd only be able to move two squares. Oh wait, no, but then the king could just take the pawn. I don't know. I'll do it, I'll do it. Okay, now I need to think. What I originally said will not work. But if I keep the bishop here, I will have the diagonal across the center. I could move the knight here to put it also into check. So they would not have this diagonal, they would not have that square. And if I take out the rook, I would have this file back. So, okay. Just to read it, they can't have that diagonal. If I, this is if I move the knight. They would lose the rook. They would also lose that square because they would be in check. And if they move here, the queen would get them. They could either move g8 or h6 I, I literally can't think that far ahead <laughs> and if they move to if they move to g8 i could just move my queen the next turn and if i if if if, if they move to if they move to h6 I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I think I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Check. I'm, I'm so confused. I don't, I can't think that far ahead. The mistake I think I made is I'm pushing it towards the center. So they have a lot more different moves they can make. Okay. If I move Bishop here, they would lose the diagonals. 
And if they move here, the knight is there. If they move here. The king would only be able to move these two spaces. I think what I'm going to try and do is bait it down. Because I have a king and a pawn here. Pawn can attack diagonal. Okay. They moved how I wanted them to. I can do this. I can do this. Okay, so... If I had a rook, this would go crazy. I could put them in the check again. I've realized I put them in the check, I think, the past two or three turns, so I'm forcing the king to move. This is why it's a lot easier for me to, like, think, because I don't have to think about the other pieces on the board. Granted, she only has two knights and pawns left. So, like, the easier pieces for me to forget about. Okay, if I move knight here, check again. They would not be able to move in the diagonal. Not along this, either. Or here. So king would have to move either these two squares. I'll do it. Check. If I put knight here, be check again. They'd only be able to move to... Yeah, those two squares. I think I can do this. Knight here. But check again. I think I'm just going to keep forcing her into check. Okay, so this turn I have to move the knight. Or no. If king takes knight, then queen. They can't take that. What if I move the pawn? No, that'd be dumb. Okay, so right now, I I for sure can't move the knight, because that is my protection. I should move the bishop somewhere. But there's nowhere good I can move it. If I advance the pawn one, the king would have to take it. Because nothing else can attack it. I think my best move is to move the pawn. Oh, but then the... the, the the king would move back up. Maybe knight back here, back into check. Yeah, it would be stuck in the wall again. Yeah, I, I have to do check. Keep it in this section. She's not going up. That's what I'm really surprised about. The only way to escape is if she, if she goes back up. Okay. I want to move the bishop. Maybe here?
Yeah, if I do that. Okay, bishop. Oh, no. Bishop. B, F4. Check. So if I do that, they would not be able to move here or here. The diagonals. Or here, because the pawn. Or here. They would have to move down. Oh. It wasn't check. Okay, but that horse can't do anything there. Maybe horse back into check. Hi, Tooth. I did not play against myself yet. And I never will. Unless I become a grandmaster somehow. I think her moving the knight was just to stall for another turn. And... NG6 check. Okay. Let me think about this. If I move the queen here. Can't do anything on this line. Can't do the diagonals. Also wouldn't be able to attack. Force back in the wall. They'll only be able to move here. Wait! Is this check? Is this check me? Wait, wait, wait. One more time. Queen. G2. They would not be able to do horizontal or the diagonal. Bishop, diagonals, they can't do. Horse, still here. They can't move. And they can't move there. Wait! I think I did it! I think I did it! Oh my god! Oh my god! Wait, what? Oh. Oh, I thought... I thought that worked. Oh, wait, it wor it it's fine because the knight would have blocked. That's why it worked. Okay. Never mind, it's fine, it's fine. We can work with this. Man, I thought I had it. Okay. The horse can't attack anything from here. But the only problem I see arising is she moves the horse here and then I'm in check. So I think it's in my best interest to take out the horse with my pawn. So if I do that, the pawn blocks here. They still can't do the diagonal. They still can't go here. So they'd have to go here. But then the queen. Okay. I'm going to do this one more time. Pawn takes horse. So therefore, pawn is here. I'm going to... Oh my god. I almost clicked. This space is empty, but the king can't reach that. They can't move here. They can't move here. They can't move here. And they can't move here. Can't move here. Could move here. I would just bring them back up. But I think getting rid of the horse is my safest bet. Yeah. Top left corner. Okay. I could work with this. The end is so near. Queen. C2. That way I have the diagonal. Also horse here. I 
the problem is they're just going to take the bishop. No, they can't take the bishop because then the pawn would take it. They could take the horse, which would suck. You know what I could do? Either way, the queen is probably going to take the horse or the bishop. It's probably in my best interest to just take out the horse now. Because I didn't see this line. That way, if she does take the horse, I will also take hers. She couldn't take the horse because the queen would still be checking. There's a pawn right in front of it. That's what I thought too at first. I didn't say it, but the pawn is blocking it. I could also move the pawn up, but then I would just lose the pawn. No, I, I think I need to take the horse here. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I could take the pawn here. I think right now I just need to clear the field and isolate her. Taking the pawn. You've 100% got this. Thank you. Should I take up the pawn here? I'm going to take up the pawn on the right. It's just a matter of deciding what to take one. Yo, she's cooked. Queen takes pawn at a6. I'm destroying all the forces. Now, since the game isn't over, it's implying that I can still throw somehow. You know who else is throwing? Those who aren't following the channel. Because guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream. So if you're new here, click follow. I promise. I will win. Now be sure not to start a stalemate. Dude, imagine. Imagine. No, but genuinely, how does that happen? Like, I don't... She has no bonds left. Stalemate? Oh, wait, still... Can somebody clarify? Stalemate is when you have two kings, right? I need to know that information before I make a decision on what to do next. Dude, I'm so nervous. Stalemate is when their only move is into a check. If the king's is not a check but can't move, it's a draw. Okay. Okay. Is it? Okay. It could be smart just to, like, make all my pawns into queens. I just realized, out of all the games we've played today, I've yet to have a match where I still have a queen at the end. <laughs> I mean, unless I lose it. Just be sure to make sure the enemy king can always move or move in checks. Okay.
How is it not over yet? Wait, okay, sorry. Stalemate is only when both kings can't move, right? I'm confused. <laughs> only their king? If the opponent has no legal moves. What? Wait, no, what? Then it's a stalemate? What? Okay, I'm confused. <laughs> but if you keep checking your save? Wait, I need to- I'm so confused. How do I win? Okay, what does checkmate mean then? A check is when a king cannot escape. So like, a, a checkmate is when literally any move they make, they die. And it's in check. Oh, okay. Wait, I, I, I don't know. I don't want to lose this. <laughs> Can I phone a friend? Okay. If I advance the queen to F, you can't stalemate if the opponent is in check. Okay. I, I just need to win. I can't move here. You know what? I'm just going to go for it. Check. Trap him in the last two rows. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying my darndest. I'm so nervous. What if I just do this? Would that go crazy? <laughs> Nah, I won't. Or what if I do this? But, okay, wait. If I do move the bishop here, then they would have to move up. Yeah. Check.
Okay. If I move the queen to d7, they're forced to move up. When in doubt, just make another queen. Should I? <laughs> Wait, wait, pause, 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 bishop, f6, they cannot move here, 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 queen has the g file, this queen has rank 7, And then also the diagonal on E. That's literally checkmate, right? Right? If I move B, B, F, 6 equals. Right? Uh, is that a win? Is Okay. Keep checking or you'll stalemate. Wait, how is that like not a win though? That's a stalemate? That's so stupid. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I get it now. With the visual? Okay, so stalemate means any move they make, they die. The king needs to be in check. Okay, okay. So in order for it to be a win, you have to have the king make at least one move. Right? I'm so nervous. So in order for it to be a win, the king has to be able to make at least one move. And then what? Oh, but then they have to move into, they have to move from a safe square? No. They would have to move from an unsafe square to a safe square, right? He needs to not be able to move? But, <laughs> he can't move! But also be in check. I don't get it! I don't get it! I've never gone this far in a game! It's okay, you're so close. I feel like I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna throw. You need them to be attacked directly. I don't get it. Check the king, but also threaten his escape. Okay. So is this like an example of that? I advance the queen to d8. The king still has a square they can move. This one's probably better in the corner.
It's not the best move because the king can still move. So basically, I have to, in order to win, I have to make sure I trap the king in a way to where if he moves, the next turn I kill, right? You want to move that attacks the king and he can't move. I, I don't, sorry, I don't, I genuinely, I'm trying my best to understand. It's just like, I need to visually see it. That's the problem. Like, I, I appreciate you guys explaining it, but, like, I need to see it. Uh... I'm sweating like crazy, though. Who knew chess could be so scary? That's a stalemate too? If he would pass the turn and you would take the king on the next move, it's a win. If he can pass the turn and not get taken, then it's a draw. I still don't understand. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. Okay. Dude, my hair's a mess. <laughs> Okay, I'm at a point. I know, okay, is there a way for me to get a mate right now? Yeah, I, I think I need to know what piece it could be. And then I think I can figure out from there. It's okay, I'm allowing you to tell me. Like, just say the piece and then I'll figure out from there. Left queen e8. Oh, don't tell me the move. I just wanted to know the piece. <laughs> also, thank you for the follow. Plus one. Thank you. So it's this one. Okay. Also, I think I got spoiled. You check him, and then he can't move anywhere else. Because there are other checks. Wait! Okay, so, so what you're saying is I have to move the queen to e6. So therefore, it would not be able to go on this diagonal... This vertical, this diagonal, and this horizontal. And then that would be checkmate, correct? 
I didn't I set up early and you guys said it was bad? Because there were other checks. With the bishop, it was bad. Oh, okay. So basically, checkmate is when all the potential spaces the king could theoretically move results in a check. Because another one, the king wasn't in check. Okay. So, earlier when you guys said when there was no legal moves, what does that mean? It has to be no moves in which they're not in check, and then they're also currently in check. It's illegal to move into a check. <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, so just to be clear, is E6 the winning move? It's fine if we spoil. It's fine. I know I got spoiled. It'll still count as a win if it is. Dude, imagine I had no chatters. One of the multiple. Okay. So. Okay, example time. Let's pretend that this pawn is a king. Okay, let's pretend. I'm just trying to understand the difference between stalemate and checkmate. Now let's pretend all the pieces, if I move one, would lead to like this many spaces it would not be able to move to. Would that be a checkmate? Only if the current square was also being attacked. Okay. I think I kind of get it. Wait, no, because it can still escape? Well, I'm not saying what, like, the... Okay, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it, it's so hard, because, like, I don't... Okay. 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 So just to just to clarify. So let's say this is let's pretend this little pawn is a king. And then this guy moves here. So now in this hypothetical, the square it's currently in, it will die in. And then also any of the surrounding squares, based on in this hypothetical where the pieces are, it will also die if it moves. So that would be a checkmate versus a stalemate is if somehow I move the queen somewhere where it's not in check, but every other move around it is illegal somehow else. That would be a stalemate. If you've listened to everything, type three if that is correct. Exactly, exactly.
If what I just explained is correct, type 3. Three. Okay. Thank you. I, I really appreciate that. That was like a 20 minute tangent. Thank you. Thank you guys. Genuinely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now I, I genuinely never understood the difference between checkmate and stalemate. It always fucking confused me. Okay. So basically stalemate is when one of the tiles in which it is occupied is a legal tile, but it cannot move into illegal tiles. And then checkmate is whenever all the tiles, including the one it's currently on, it will die. Okay. So since Chet spoiled and gave me the E6 as a checkmate, I will figure out the other one. Because earlier you guys said there was multiple. Okay, I got it now. Thank you. Thank you. Editor, cut it out. A plus explanation. Thank you. Okay. That's why I like doing the red tiles more than the arrows. The arrows is confusing. Okay, so we know for sure that E6 will be a checkmate. And you guys said it was the leftmost queen. What if we did it with this guy? That would not because they could still move here. Oh yeah, I can figure this out. Don't worry. No, it's not that one. This one is close, but it's not being attacked if I do that there. Oh, when you guys were saying attack the queen directly, that meant like making sure whatever diagonal or vertical was actually hitting the queen in that move. Okay, I that just clicked. Okay, I got it. I got it. Sounds close. It has to be moving one of the queens. It's a matter of figuring out the direction. Well, that's the one you guys gave me earlier.
if we did move left queen to e6, diagonal attacking directly, vertical, diagonal, it would still have this square would be safe, right? No. Oh, no, the diagonal. That's why it's safe. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to find the other one. Try my darndest. Wait, no, it has to be one of the queens. Wait, 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 okay. Is it, is it this? Is it Q? QF7? I'm not doing it until somebody confirms. Is it QF7? she cooking? Is it? Is it? Yes! Okay. 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 I kind of want to find the other one. I want to find the other one. If there's three, right? You guys said there's three? Yeah, there's- yeah, I want to find the other one. I need to practice this. I know I'm stalling, but I need to learn. There are five others? What? Six? Okay, I'll find one more. I'll find one more. There's a bunch? That's crazy. Well, guys, I'm sorry. This game took a fucking hour. So it's time for more ads. Get boomed. Subscribe for $5.99 to $6. Okay. I'll do it. I'll find one more. Oh, is there like five to six? Because you can do like different spots. Okay, let's see. If I did QF8. Yeah, QF8. Nope. Kings can also take. Oh, yeah, because then... Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. I gotta find it. Oh, that's why it wouldn't work. I see now. Because my next move would be to take, but there's still empty space. That's why QF8 does not work versus QF7. Because I could attack here. I see why that works now. I got it now. Okay. Now to find the other one. It's because the queen take or the king takes an effort. Yeah, I I, I figure that out now. Because if I moved here, it would take, but then the next turn I would not take it back immediately. That's why.
So basically, in order to get a mate, you have to fork the king. Like, you have to make sure no matter where it goes, two pieces would kill it. And that's why king is like an automatic stalemate if you have two kings on the board. Because they wouldn't be able to fork each other. Okay, I genuinely can't find the next move. <laughs> the one other besides E6. <laughs> Kings can't check each other. Okay, I think I got it now. I'm kind of hating that I got spoiled now. Uh, como... How do I do this now? It's late for me. There's seven? How the frick is there seven? If it's 7 p.m., then you must be EU. I have a lot of EU viewers. Type one if you're in the, for the EU. Okay, let's see. Three of them are like the same move. Okay. <laughs> Is it this? Oh, but then if I do that, it's not attacking directly. Okay. Okay, I genuinely don't see the other ones. <laughs> uh... Oh, oh, is that it? E8? No, wait, I thought we decided that was bad. You've made two or three of them with the arrows already? Okay. <laughs> I think it's because, like, I, I think I understand it now, but it's still, like, tricky. Okay, if I do E8, it attacks it directly from the side. It wouldn't have the vertical. This diagonal. Okay, that's a win, right? That has to be a win. You got this? That has to be it. It has to! Because it would be attacking directly. I would have the entire A rank, the F file, and the diagonal on H7. Okay, I literally had that earlier. I think I just didn't explain it right in my head or with the tile colors. Let's freaking go. One win on the board. I'm sorry I had to be cutie, but you know what? Sometimes you gotta put other people down. Finally! Okay. I think the only reason why I won this one is because in early game, she played really risky. Like, she lost, I think, her one of her bishops, and she lost her queen really early on. But you know what? A win is a win! That was like an hour game. I cannot play timed matches. I literally cannot. <sighs> you missed that the H7 was covered earlier? Yeah, I think when I was- I think I was getting in my own head because I did not want to fuck up. But, oh my god. You know what's funny? Nobody gambled in the prediction. When I finally got a win, none of you guys believed in me. I'm so disappointed. <sighs> finally a win. I need a snack. 
<laughs> I need a snack. Yeah, I think it's because this game started like a fucking hour ago. Editor, I'm sorry. Which is gonna be me next week editing the stream. You beat a 900 level bot? Wait, actually, you're right. I'm goaded! Next one. Oh, computer underscore loses. I'm sorry. Bye, Tria. Thanks for hanging out. You were a big help. But enjoy the rest of your night. Sleep well. Dude, I forgot how hard granola bars are to chew. Now that I know the difference between stalemate and checkmate, I think I'll be able to line them up a bit easier. Next match, Mr. Beast, rank 1100. Classic opener. Copycat. Threatening the pawn. Also, new prediction. I almost forgot again. Interesting. Taking the queen out this early. You know what? I'll take the pawn. Why not? Attacking the queen. I'm in check. Let's see what it'll do here. Okay, I didn't think of that. Either way, I'm probably gonna lose the rook here. Because that queen can take, like, any piece. I knew he wouldn't move the queen there. Okay. We'll keep Beast cornered there for a bit.
put him immediately into check. But I don't have another piece to fork him yet. So I'll keep the horse here for now. I kind of want to take the bishop out now. Oh, I'm scared. See what you do now? Oh. <laughs> I forgot the bishop was right next to the pawn. <laughs> uh. Oh, what are you going to do now, huh? Take the knight. I knew it. <laughs> I'm so bad. I'm making it in so bad. It's fine, I'll catch up, don't worry. If you beat Mr. Beast, you'll win a million dollars! I got distracted. I'm losing so many pieces already. I didn't learn anything from the last game. Check. I'm getting anxious. Oh, er. <laughs> not a good spot I put myself in, huh? Not at all. I'm on blood. If I take this pawn, I can attack the rook too, and the bishop. Only problem now. I could see the bishop advancing here, putting me in check. And then I have to fall back. But I think it's in my best interest for now to take out pieces. Yeah, I know he's going to do that. Literally pre-watched. Only thing I can do is move. Best spot? Probably here. That way, the queen would have to, like, do a square round. I don't want to go down. I might be cooked. <laughs> I 
That was a quick game. Well, M upside down is W. Mr. Beast, you get the win. It's fine. Everybody glazes you up. I'll do it to your good itches. I think I psyched myself out. Okay, well, we got three people left. We have Gotham Chess and the Botez Sisters. Let's do the Botez Sisters first. 1800? Oh! <laughs> You know, it'll be a miracle if I beat these guys. Threaten the knight. Okay, nothing can attack my bishop where it's at now, so I'll, I'll leave her there. I just want to get it out on the battlefield. Taking mine out as well. Okay. It's weird because like I haven't seen an opening like this, so like I'm kinda scared. But she is rank eighteen hundred. Yeah, the Botezes do primarily chess streams. Okay. I want my other bishop to be free. I have no clue what the best move could be right now. I think advancing my knight, possibly. I want to get my bishop out on the board, but there's no good place. Because if it's here, pawn, here, pawn. Here, it blocks the queen. Advancing to her knight is threatening my knight. I could take, but then I would lose the knight immediately. Yeah, there's no good place for it to advance besides withdrawing. Oh, but now my bishop is trapped again. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like trapped everywhere I go. It sucks. Because like the, obviously the YouTubers and stuff aren't as good as the actual people who play chess all the time. What did I expect putting these guys last? Maybe I thought I would have improved after all these hours of playing today. But it's fine. I shall prevail. It's fine, I don't need a pawn. Oh, wait, no, that was my bishop. <laughs> Awkward. I 
I literally just saw it right before it moved. Uh oh. <laughs> Uh, okay, I can't move the horse because then it opens up my queen. What's she cooking? Oh, the horse. Dang it. Um. <laughs> Ain't no way she'll take the horse and then lose the bishop. That'd be silly. I'm just right now realizing the horse can't move at all, or the king can't move at all. I didn't anticipate that. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'm not realizing I move my pawns too much, so it's blocking off all the potential moves that I could make, too. I think this one's Jover. Oh, I'm in check, Lamau. Take the horse. Oh, I'm still in check. Uh oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, well, that's another loss. It's fine. It was anticipated. Now for the other sister. Alexandra. 2100? Oh my god. Did I win? No. See, as you learn that you can take on people a thousand and under, I think Cutie was nine hundred. But yeah, I'm I'm literally sweating because it's so hot in my room. Okay, classic opener. She also opened with the horse. Okay, you know what? I'll do it too. Threaten her horse. I'll call that an even trade. Taking my bishop out. Okay, that has to be an opening strategy. 
that I just don't know yet. I've only been playing for three days. This is day three. But don't worry, I'll I'll get a win. I'll get another win. Surely. Pawn. I'm sorry, you have to die. Pawn, you also have to die. Okay, I'm not realizing that was pointless because she's just gonna keep on advancing. I should have just moved. Moko. I know I saw the bishop. I knew either the queen or the bishop would take, but... I'm safe from moving up. Ah. No, we're good. Wait, I can... Yeah, I can kill. That's the only place I can go. You know, not often the... The king gets to see blood. Threaten the queen? Dude, I think that was the fastest today. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, you're playing a 2100 bot? Yeah, and I lost basically immediately. <laughs> okay, Alexandra, you get the win. Man. <laughs> what I am learning, both Alexandra and Andrea, they both did a night opening, which I haven't seen at all. Okay, we got one more person to face today. And if you want to see me play it, click the follow button right now. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. Isn't that pretty sick? Also, welcome in Jellyfish. Can we get some yo's? Okay, well, believers, I'm sorry. I still appreciate that individuals still believe, though. Did the bot do the go Botas Gambit? I've heard that term. But I don't know what the meme is. They both open with knights, though. Uh, PSI 2 yo is a follower emote. So if you click on the, the menu for emotes, you should have free emotes from my channel. Do you want to know how many points I've left after today? Didn't you gamble them all in, like, the first match you saw today? I mean, not gamble. Predicted. Okay. This is the final YouTuber we'll face today. It is Gotham Chess. I think he's one of the more prominent names. I always see him playing chess. 2,500 rank. You know what? Open with a knight. See what he does. I'm copying the Botezes. Okay. Why not? I'm seeing the mistake I always fall for. They're opening the space for the queen to get out early. I'm going to block it. Block that diagonal. Keep the queen trapped. Is this Mario Party? 
I still need to play the uh, Super Mario Party. I just need to unlock the games. I started the yesterday at 2.7k. Now I have zero. <laughs> Don't worry. Just watch every stream and you'll get more, I promise. <laughs> Dude! Gambling is bad. But gambling with channel points is great. Okay, let's see. What is he cooking? Opening space for my bishop. Play a real game today? I was planning on it today. When they say sack the queen. Oh, okay. That's what a few of the other bots did today. I think Cutie like sacked her bot in me or her queen immediately. I I'm down to do one time match today, but I'm still scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay. It looks like this side of the board is kind of stun locked for now. No really good places to move the knight. Opening space for the bishop. Okay, well, there's no good place to put the bishop. Because here there's a pawn, and then here's there's a, there's a knight. Dude, imagine I beat Gotham. No, that would be crazy. <laughs> nah, it didn't happen. Oh. Oh, that's fine. Okay. That pawn is still locked there now. Uh, I might sack the bishop. Yeah, I'm, st I'm so trapped. You know what? Let's take the rook out. Why not? Why not? Horse for horse. It's fine. Now I'm forced to move that horse, though. Uh oh. What go? Threaten the queen? Oh, the pawn would take. <laughs> I just I just want blood. I want to take all their pieces. And I forget about mine. It's like the military. They just shove more soldiers at the problem. Oh, it already moved. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Why do you move the knight away, huh? I'm in check.
die. Oh, I see the rook up top. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Uh I'm not in check. But if I take that knight, the queen will kill me, but it'll get the queen away from me. I think the bishop is more of a threat. <laughs> I think that even that was even shorter than the last one. Okay. You know what? You can have the win. If you would have given me more time to think, I could have clutched. Man. One blunder, three mistakes. Makes sense seeing that Gotham was ranked 2500. Yeah, but it would have been a miracle if I won, right? All he had to do was make one major blunder. Sack the queen, and I would have won. Well, that was all of the YouTubers. Wait, sorry. Reset, reset. And that's it. I faced every single YouTuber that I like on chess.com. Their bots are scary. <laughs> um, Out of the ten, I defeated one, and sadly it was cutie. I'm sorry. You just lost your queen really early, and that kind of ruined the game for you. I, that had to be a blunder. Anyway, that was really fun. <laughs> Granted, this is still only day three of playing chess. Depending on if I like it, I might start playing every day, like genuinely. Because this does work my brain, and I don't want to get dementia. So chess every day to stay healthy. So if you like it, if you like it. <laughs> what do you mean all the peace and bot wasn't there? Guys... If you want me to get a chess.com bot, we need to get famous. So, like the video, subscribe, and if you want to watch me play games live, you can follow my Twitch, twitch.tv slash peacein underscore 17. Dude, I took so many losses, but you know what? I'm not upset. I'm still learning, and a few viewers were like, oh, it's really good that you're trying and you're not scared. And I think that's the biggest takeaway from today. Don't be scared to do things if you know you're going to fail, because you will learn from your mistakes. No, actually, the biggest takeaway was learning... A stalemate versus a checkmate. I think that is generally the best thing I learned today. Two L's make a W? Exactly. Oh, did I win? No. <laughs> Sorry to the gamblers, guys. I mean, predictors. We don't gamble in Twitch chat. Okay, well, guys, I'm going to wrap stream here for today. But we did have somebody use their channel points for calligraphy. So if you want me to write your name, all you must do is use your channel points. Or subscribe. And I'll write your name too. I will be live again tomorrow. With a crazy bitch stream. I promise it'll be a banger. Let me just say tomorrow's stream will have two cameras set up. <gasps> While I'm getting the camera set up, if you could, just a reminder. Today's stream is presented to you by PCAnArt.BuyShopify.com. Oh my god, what is this? Click the link, go bookmark my website right now, and also check out the blog section. At the top, you'll learn a little bit more about my actual artistic process. And if you want to get some artwork yourself, if you like the paintings you see back here, it's actually my art. You can purchase them, I do ship internationally. New artwork for sale available next week. Isn't that crazy? Also, just a reminder, if you have a Shopify account, if you follow my shop, you'll get email notifications the moment I post a new product. You can be the first to buy, because it is limited stock, because I do make every painting to order on stream. So it's not like I got 100 in the bag. That would be crazy. But look, I have three total sales. Yay! Okay. 
do 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 also tooth i know you were asking yesterday if i took donos and i said no i forgot about cash app because i did cash app donos for a while but i stopped because it had to have my name in it right that's why i don't do like a uh, stream labs or stream elements donos anymore because like it has my my full legal name <laughs> Unless you make a business account. But I just checked. Um, and Cash App, you don't have to put your name anymore. Because last time I checked, like a year ago, it was required. I'm getting a ponytail. But now it's not required. Oh yeah, today was my last day of blood thinners. Because I suffered a blood clot. As a result of a, um, I donated plasma, which is kind of like blood, but, so I had to be on blood thinners for a little over a month. So today was my last day. So we'll see how I feel tomorrow. I think the worst part about being on blood thinners was having to eat breakfast at the same time every day. Like that sucked. Like having to eat when you're not hungry, my body doesn't vibe with. Um... And then, what was I going to say? Oh my god, there's two of me. And then also... The medicine was fucking expensive. Like, thankfully, I'm on broke insurance. So, my insurance covered my medication. But for a one-month supply of my blood thinners... $1,200. USD. Crazy. Oh, you can only do PayPal? Okay, it's okay. Either way, I'm happy you're here. It's just, you you reminded me that I could do Cash App indirectly. Because I was thinking about it this morning. I was like, wait, I forgot I had a Cash App. <laughs> I don't use it often, though. Because, like, I, I only use a... Uh, like, my actual debit and credit card for transactions. I never use, like, PayPal or or what you call it. Or Cash App for, like, regular transactions. Even though, like, if the fees are minimal, I, I would just rather use my card. The only time that I did use, like, a, a mobile pay option was when I forgot my wallet at home, like, three years ago. Yeah, so, like, today was my last day on being in the medicine. So that's a huge dub. Because, like, oh, the, I think the scariest thing of being on blood thinners is obviously it thins your blood, which there's a whole bunch of side effects that, like, the, the doctors didn't tell me. One being, like, at risk of heat stroke is increased. Another major one that they, like, really hounded into me um, was since your blood is thinner, like, whenever you get, like, scrapes or cuts, your your wound doesn't scab as quickly. So, like, let's say, for example, if I would have been cooking and I sliced my hand open, I would have had to go to the ER since the wound wouldn't, like, heal itself. I spelled Spartan's name wrong. I put a T instead of an R. Don't you get lightheaded? It depends on the person. Um, my disability makes me lightheaded anyway, so it's kind of like, it's not like it made it any worse or better, <laughs> but I don't know. Yeah, so like any time that I had to cook this past month and a half, I, like, I was really scared. And I'm responsible for all the cooking where we live, so like I cook for my sister and I. The other roommates cook for themselves. But, like, my sister, she's not home right now, so she's not going to hear me talk shit. But, like, she did not want to help me cook at all. Like, I explicitly told her, I was like, hey, like, literally, I cannot, like, do veggie prep for a while until I, like, get off the medicine. And she's like, well, I don't want to do it either. I'm like, what do you want? Like, do you, do you want me to bleed out if I nick my finger when I'm cutting potatoes? Like, what? She can't or won't. Well. <laughs> well. 
Well, I, I feel I feel bad because like uh, my sister, she's comfortable with me sharing whatever I do share on stream. She is um, ASD, so she's autistic. She's on the spectrum. So like having a regular job is very exhausting for her. So like I can totally respect if she doesn't want to do shit like chores. I mean, like when she gets home, but it's still like sometimes I need help. But thankfully, I was able to... I just... I got, like, uh, different gloves for when I cook this month. And I also made sure to sharpen all my knives, because you guys know, a blunt knife is more dangerous than a sharp knife, because then you're putting more force than you would a perfectly sharp knife. Now you can nick yourself again, exactly. No, but like the scariest thing to do in the kitchen, I'm I'm pretty good at knife cutting, like doing veggie prep and stuff. But the scariest thing is like the cheese grater, cause you're going you're in order to use a grater, you have to like grip the, like this is the grater, you have to like grip it like this. I know they have like attachments to where there's like a plastic barrier between you and the blade, but like. I would, I oh, literally, anytime I greet cheese or great vegetables, I always nick my nails on my fingers. I use my hand as a cutting board in Minecraft, in Minecraft. <laughs> I grew up using blunted knives, but I'm scared of using sharp ones now. You also have to, like, get a decent knife, knife set. Like, if anybody lives on their own, invest in some decent knives. I'm hoping to get some knives when I get my YouTube money, which will be never. Anyway, anybody else want their name written? Redeem right now. Look at this win-loss ratio. I mean, 10% win rate? You know, I bet that's the same as your guys' favorite football team or some shit. Can I get one letter for 80 points? Sure, what letter do you want? You know, you we, we'll give you the newbie discount. <laughs> but I picked the color. Ten percent win rate, that's more like a hundred. <laughs> yeah, for me. Oh, that's a zero. This is like a soft rose. There we go. On the house. With a dash through the middle? Like the Omega sign? Do you read fan fictions? <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm getting off screen. <laughs> Don't ask me how I know. <laughs> Everything is fan fiction if you think about it. Um, take your medicine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guys, the plan is simple. <laughs> Thank you for watching New Chatter Circus. I hope you had fun today. I had a 10% win rate. Which, honestly, I went in today thinking I would not get a single win. So I'm genuinely really surprised that I actually got one win. I'm so happy about it. Good job. Proud of you. Okay. So tomorrow will be the final day of chess week. Now, I'm not going to narc, but if you've watched till the end of stream, tomorrow's stream will be called, it's already on my Twitter, Facing My Greatest Enemy in Chess. And let me just say, it won't be on the computer. I have an actual chess board. Ain't no way. So that'll be tomorrow. Probably at the same time. Depends on how long it takes to get set up. Because I, I have to like move my camera. And get the second camera set up. It won't be... I'm going to be borrowing my sister's DSLR. So it won't be the shitty camera. Facing against or beating them into a pulp. Uh, I don't advocate for violence. But I do like PSI 2 punching. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning, between 9 and 11, 
surely. So if you want something to watch, new YouTube video, click the link, go watch it now. How I got my first ever crown in fall, guys. Go watch it, banger video. And there will be a new video public at 9 a.m. tomorrow. So at least uh, go make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. It's free to subscribe there. Watch every single video tonight and leave a comment. What else? Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you had fun. Also, I felt really bad that I'm so bad at chess. But you guys were genuinely really nice about it. Like, I, I always get really scared playing new games on stream because, um, like, I'm scared of, like, randos coming in and, like, giving me shit. But everybody is really nice. You know what? Maybe I'll stay in the chess community. We'll see. Okay. I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a good rest of your day. Donate blood. Donate plasma if you can. EMT. And then also immunocompromised people need it. I'm going to watch regardless of the game. That's what we need. We need simps. Can we get simps in the chat? I got too many reels. Final minute. Any last words, guys? Okay, bye guys. Enjoy the rest of your